My name is Labo. Um, I uh, live in Highland Park. And then I forgot what else I was supposed to say. That's it. All right. Yeah, you're good to go. Um, I'm just out of curiosity. Have you been to this event before? Or is I have not. This is my first time. My first time, too. Cool. <laughs> um, and what comes to mind when you think about food um, in Rondo or Phil Collins area or whatever area you're um, called? Highland Park. Yeah. I think automatically food brings a sense of warmth and generosity and kindness and I whenever I think about um, community getting together the um, food is either something that brings the community together or uh, something that is always there for community to share in. Um, growing up in Highland Park I think um, gave me a really good sense of being from St. Paul when so often Minneapolis becomes the place that everybody considers when they think of Minnesota and I think that there are some really incredible things happening in St. Paul regarding food and agriculture and um, so that's why I'm here because I really believe in that and I like it. Yeah, I would say that growing up, I didn't um, tune into my food culture very strongly. I was lucky and fortunate to have a family that ate meals together on a regular basis, but um, it's a very uh, normal, you know, we ate dinner, my mom mostly cooked the food, sometimes my dad did, and our family, larger family gatherings were surrounded with food. Um, but it wasn't until I left the United States and was able to travel and um, experience different kinds of food culture that I really think a lot about the food culture that we have in the States and um, really recognized how distant we are from that and how little we know about how the food is produced and how little we care in a lot of ways about what we put into our bodies. So I would say in absence of American food culture, I try to build food culture through new communities. Um, I love lots of vegetables, and um, ever since I was a kid, my dad had a garden, so we had a lot of fruits and vegetables growing up. Um, in Highland Park, there are a significant amount of grocery stores, and it is easy to get access to food, and I also work with farmers, so I'm blessed to be able to have access to lots of produce. Yeah, um, I actually stop at the Mississippi Market on Selby and Dale a lot. Um, it's really convenient because it's right off of the freeway. Um, and I've been to a couple of the different farmers markets that are here in the community. Um, and I went on the community garden tour and got some vegetables this year, um, this summer. But apart from that, I'm not sure if I come. I guess every once in a while I'll go to some... Um, um, grocery stores on university if I'm looking for specific ingredients to cook, um, you know, non-American food. Mm -hmm. So like Hmong grocery stores and Vietnamese grocery stores and places yeah. like that. Chang Har or whatever is on University of Dale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where in the neighborhood, in your neighborhood, can people uh, go to get food and what kinds of food are easy to find and what are some that are hard to find? Yeah. Um, I would say most people go to the grocery store. Um, I also think that there are a lot of people in our neighborhood that participate in community supported agriculture so they get deliveries of produce during the growing season to their homes or to places where they go pick them up. Um, what was the second part of the question? And, yeah, what are some foods that are easy to find? And yeah. That are yeah. I would say that um, because I live in a pretty high income, predominantly white neighborhood, that we are fortunate to be able to have access to any kind of food. Well, I think this is all the questions that I have. Great. Cool. Wonderful. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Where, what do you do with the...